Good morning. Today is Monday, February 24th, and I did not post a video last weekend when normally I would do my um, TBR jar reading vlog. Um, I actually did film. What did I film? I filmed like two, two clips or whatever, and then the weekend just got away. It was a crazy weekend, but I just didn't film anymore. I did finish reading the book that I had pulled from the jar, so I'll tell you about it, but I didn't, um, I didn't have anything to post. So we're just gonna ignore that, and I'll tell you what I have read so far this month and what I plan on reading in the next few days. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to pull from the TBR jar. I just, I'm just not sure. I haven't, I haven't completely decided um, because I do have some books to review that um, I really want to get into and finish and be able to do that. But I also really want to pull from the jar. So I don't know. Like I said, it is Monday. This coming weekend, I'm going to be out of town. So I won't be doing a reading vlog this weekend. So maybe... Um, maybe I will do one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. But first, let's just give an update. So, okay. So, first of all, um, the beginning of the month, I did, I forget, I don't even know when it was that I had pulled, again, but better out of my jar. And I believe I ended the vlog without having finished the book, it feels like. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I did. I don't know. But I this is the first book that I did complete in February. I liked it. I thought it was good. It was unexpected. I wasn't aware that there was going to be that, um, that uh, magical, I guess, element in it. And it was there. And I, I loved it. So that was the first book. Then I read Countdown by Deborah, by Deborah Wiles. And um, this one I also enjoy. This is the one that my daughter had gotten me for Christmas. And it has, um, it's like a mix of historical, um, like actual facts and um, also fiction. So it has like actual pictures and ads and um, things like that. So it, I actually really enjoyed that. It was good. Then, um, oh, so last weekend, what I had pulled from my jar was A Thousand Nights. And I did finish this over the weekend, um, last weekend, and I really did enjoy it. Um, but it was, once again, like, I guess, okay, I think I was, I think that I was thinking that when, um, you know, because it, it says, it says on the book that the guy marries, or the prince chooses a wife, she dies soon, he chooses another, you know, that kind of thing. And so the girl, knowing that her sister was going to get picked, she stepped up and she made it to where she was picked instead. But I think that I was thinking that everyone was, mistaken that he wasn't really the one killing them or whatever, um, where, I mean, I guess essentially he actually was. So it was really good. I didn't know that it was like a retelling from another like old fairy tale. Really cool. Did enjoy it. Did enjoy it. So Then I read, this is a middle grade, just a small book. Um, maybe not even middle grade. I guess it's more like a children's book. Because when I read it, um, I used to teach um, I used to teach second grade, and this is something that they would have loved. Every day I would read a chapter of a book, usually like um, The Magic Tree House or something to them. And this is something that they would have really, really enjoyed. Now, I'm guessing it's Nile's Wish. Nile. By Raya Irini. I don't really know. But anyways, it's um, about 11-year-old Nile, And he finds a genie lamp 
And he gets taken back in time to India, and, you know, there's Avengers and stuff like that. So it was cute. I enjoyed this. So then, slowly but surely throughout the month, I've been rereading Anne of Green Gables, and I finally finished it. I mean, I've always loved this book, and still do. I still love it. So right now... I am in the middle of reading Little Women. Um, I'm almost finished with it. And once again, another classic that I'm madly in love with. And um, of course, I'm enjoying Little Women. So I wanted to reread it before I watched the movie, the new movie. So I used to adore the old one with Winona Ryder as Joe. And so... I'm anxious and nervous to watch the newest one because I just love the 90s one. So, we'll see. But anyways. Um, okay, so right now I'm in the middle of reading a book called Ever Near by Laurel Garver. Now, years ago I read, I didn't even realize it was book three in a series. I believe it's book three in a series um, called Almost There, I think it was called Almost There. And um, recently, this one was sent to me. It's an ebook, so I don't have like a copy to show you, but um, I can show you the cover. You can't really see it, but Ever Near by Laurel Garver. So I'm reading that. I am, I'll be finished with it probably in the next couple hours. Um, I'm about to go to a dentist appointment. So while I'm sitting in the waiting room, I'm sure I'll finish that book. But, um, so that one is like the prequel to Almost There. Um, and I discovered that there was actually one before it too. So I hate reading books that matter the order out of order. Um, so it makes it not quite as enjoyable because I already know what happens next. But I mean, it's still good. And I can, I can tell that I would have enjoyed it had I read it in the correct order. I would have enjoyed it more. But okay. So... Now on to the books that I am about to start reading. So February is almost over. And I know that a lot of um, booktubers, a lot of readers in general, are doing the Anne series. Um, January was supposed to be Anne of Green Gables, February Anne of Avonlea, and so on. I do have the whole set over here. And that was my plan, but January got away from me, and so I didn't even read Anne of Green Gables until February. And like I said, I finished it just a week or so ago. <clears throat> and I'm just getting ready to pick up Anne of Avonlea. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I'm going to try to read this one a little faster. I'm sure it'll still be the beginning of March before I finish it because I do have a lot of books that I'm reading right now. But when I do finish that one, I will... Um, then immediately move on to the next and hopefully I'll catch up that way. But so I'm getting ready to start Anne of Avonlea in the next, maybe at some point today, even if I read like a chapter day, I will feel better about it. But, and then for a book that I'm reading to review is, um, The Heartless Divine by Varsha Rav Ravi, Ravi, I don't know. But anyways, um, I really don't know what this one's about. Uh, I don't remember. And this unexpected twist on myth on mythology inspired by Sangam India, reincarnated lovers find themselves bound together, connected to their past by a centuries-old tragedy that only one of them remembers. Hmm, that actually sounds really good. So I'm going to start that today, I think, as well. And then... Um, yeah, that's, that's what I have read, what I'm going to be reading to finish out this month. And um, uh, I guess that's about it. So, so far in the month of February, so far I have read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven books, counting every year that I'm going to finish, like, in the next few minutes. But, so seven in February... Um, it is only the 24th, so I really think that I can finish, well, I'll finish 
Little Women. Oh, no, that is counting Little Women as well. <laughs> so, okay, that's okay. I will finish The Heartless Divine, so that will be eight. And hopefully I'll finish another as well. Um, I'm hoping to hit nine to ten books this month, so we will see if that actually happens. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the progress that I made so far in February and what I'm about to read in February. So to finish up this month. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will see you again in the next one. Bye.